To simplify the given expression, we can see from the order of operations that we need to simplify inside the parentheses first. So for the first step, we'll determine this sum here. And since it involves the sum of decimals, we're going to write this vertically, lining up the corresponding place values. So we'll have 1.7 plus 8.5 so notice how we have the ones, the tenths, and the hundredths. If we want to, we can add a zero here in the hundredths place value so things line up nicely. And then we need to bring the decimal point down into our sum. And now we'll add. So we have four, this would be 12, carry a one, this would be 10. So now we have seven minus 10.24. Notice how this decimal is larger than the seven, and so this difference is actually going to be negative. And if we want to, we can write this as an addition problem. Subtracting positive 10.24 is the same as adding negative 10.24. So this would be seven plus negative 10.24. And we can see that the negative is going to outweigh the positive, which means this sum is going to be negative, but to determine the number, we have to subtract the absolute values. And we're subtracting because we're adding numbers with different signs. And we always subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. And the absolute value of negative 10.24 is going to be the larger absolute value. That's going to be positive 10.24 minus, and the absolute value of positive seven is positive seven. So we line up the place values as we did before. So we can add zeros, bring the decimal down, and now subtract. So we have four minus zero, that's four. Two minus zero is two. And 10 minus seven is three. So this difference is 3.24, but again, we know this sum has to be negative. So this simplifies to negative 3.24. I know sometimes adding sign decimals can be tricky, but if we look at this on the number line, we would model positive seven starting at zero, move to the right seven units, then if we subtract 10.24 or add negative 10.24, we'd move left 10.24 units. Well, if we move left seven units, we'd be back to zero. And then we have to move another 3.24 units, which does bring us to negative 3.24. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.